Hey, what's up, Wargamers? Welcome back to World of Wargaming. This is Isaiah. Thank you so much for stopping by today. Today we're going to be painting some Plague Bears of Nurgle. But before we get into that, I want to take a second and just say thank you to our Patreon supporters. You guys do... Y'all are, are what keeps this going. And I want you to know that I'm deeply, deeply grateful. If that's something you'd be interested in trying to help out with, we've got the link right up there. Unfortunately, you can't click it. Just type it in follow it on along now unfortunately with this i lost the first piece of footage here so but luckily you didn't miss much all you missed was me saying hey guys we're gonna prime this with some grace air contrast and then we're going to base it with some plague bearer flesh contrast paint from gw so not a whole lot lost there so if you haven't hit that like subscribe and notification buttons yet go ahead hit those for me and let's get into painting these plague bearers of nurgle with the plague bear flesh on the model excluding the weapon the rest of this for the way i'm gonna do it today goes super 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 quick so the next thing i do is the boils and pustules because they tend they're the next most laborious step so i'm gonna do that with an Averland sunset which i'm going to add a drop or two of lamian media to and I'm just going to come and hit those real quick and easy. With that bit of work done, we're going to let that Averland Sunset dry for a second before we do the little pustule head on there. Moving on, I'm going to go ahead and take some skeleton bone from the Army Painter, but Ushabti bone from Games Workshop or whatever color you happen to have, whatever bone color you have and like to use will obviously work here. I'm going to also add probably a little, just touch a lobby into this. The Your whites, your off-whites, your beiges tend to run a little bit thicker than some of your other colors, no matter who makes them, it seems. So almost all of them need just a little bit of medium or water, whatever you prefer added to it. So we're gonna take this, we're gonna hit the horns, the teeth, and the toenails with that color. Next up, we're gonna hit these kind of open sore type areas where the top layer of necrotic flesh has been peeled back. I'm going to fill all of those with flayed one flesh again with just a couple of drops of Lamy and Media mixed in to the paint. Next up will be the weapon which I'm going to hit with some gunmetal from the Army Painter. By the time we've knocked out these other colors and bits of the model, our Averland Sunset should be dry. So we're going to take just a little bit of white and mix that into our Flayed One Flesh and just come and put a little dot on the top of each one of our yellow boils. Last step before putting a wash on these overall, which is a way I'm aware that these Dots may look a little bit bright right now, but we're going to put a wash of Agrax Earth Shade over all of that. So that's going to tone it down, but still keep it noticeable that there's a little head to the pustules. I'm going to do my base here with an Agrell and Badland Technical from Games Workshop. But you feel free to base your model however you base your model, obviously, to match the rest of your army or whatever it is that you envision for it. Um, with this particular technical paint, the goal is to just slop it on thick, set it down, let it dry. All right, so we got everything washed up, nice and dirty, gritty, grimy, nerdly looking. Next up, I'm gonna do the eyes and the innards. Anywhere where there's guts or anything like that hanging out, I like to wash that with a drinky violet. 
I feel that this, because of the yellowish green, as well as the yellow that we're using for the pustules, that this little bit of purple wash, because it's a complementary color, will really, really pop on the model a little bit and give it a little bit of pop, a little bit more contrast. On the eye, and this is totally necessary. You could do a lot less than this for the eyes. This is just the way the rest of my models are painted, so it's the way I'm gonna do this one. And that's to fill it with a layer of Doombull, and then a big dot of Averland Sunset, and then a little dot of Troll Slayer in the middle of that. And then we'll black the rim, and we'll be done here. And that, fellow Wargamers, is a finished model. I'll put a clear coat of some Tester's Matte Enamel Dull Coat on this, and it'll be ready to hit the tabletop. I hope that if you sat through this whole video today, I hope that you found it helpful in some small way, If even if that small way was just to laugh at me along the way. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Thank you so much for stopping by, and we'll see y'all next time. That does it for today. Thank you so much for tuning in to World of Wargaming. If you've enjoyed the content that you saw today, consider hitting that like button for me. If you want to see more content like what you saw today, consider hitting that subscribe button and hitting that bell for notifications so that you get alerts whenever I post new content. And if you liked what you saw so much that you would like to contribute to the continuation of it, then check out the description below. You'll find a link to the Patreon account for the studio. Um, and there are numerous tiers there structured for however little or however much you would like to help out. And I want you to know that regardless of any of those things, if you do any of those things or don't do any of those things, I'm incredibly grateful that you stopped by and hung out today. I hope you have a great rest of your day. And I hope that the dice are ever in your favor.